Good morning. Good morning. Ready for cardio? Yeah, look. What are you doing? Thicker bar equals more muscle. Put it on the air bike. <laughs> you get more muscle. Fat grip air bike. Yeah. We're going to take it in turns. We'll do a fat grip row. Yeah. <laughs> fat grip row would actually work your forearms. This is just pushing. <laughs> Morning cardio, what are we doing, Craig? 30 seconds at 60%, 30 seconds at 80% for 20 minutes. That is what we were doing. And then Mr. Steel is coming to stay. Yeah, good old Mikey. Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> he actually rips himself in the group chat. Like, he's like, yeah, you know, the reason why I'm good at CrossFit is because I have no brain cells. And then Dublin tomorrow. Jazz did 5K in 22.31. With intervals. That's close to your PR, I think. The 291 calories on the bike. I think it was about 12K. Hey, I did more calories than you. Recently, team, not gonna lie. We've been just adding in, like, we've got the conditioning program, the team training conditioning program that I'm following every single day. But just in the mornings when we get up, 20 minutes of work, not every morning, but maybe like three or four times a week, literally just getting used to breathing. I spoke to Will about it, and he was like, as long as you don't feel like you're burning out on days and you, it's not affecting your training in the afternoon, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday being our main training days, he said as long as it's not affecting you and you're not getting niggles and you don't feel worn out and you're getting enough food in and getting enough sleep, then just add in this, because for me, this is where I fall down. The, the, the condition in the cardio piece. I feel like I'm strong at the moment, I feel like my gymnastics is good, I move well, it's just getting enough aerobic conditioning in. And not at a pace where you're dying after every single workout, we've done it three times this week. It's just getting that baseline monostructural in that you see a lot of CrossFit Games athletes doing along with their standard kind of programming. Jazz wants it for the holiday. I just want, I just want a slab. Is it too much to ask for? Just one slab for the holiday. Everyone has their things. What's up with you? I'm not a fat person, but just my, my body just holds a layer here. And it's, I find it frustrating because I know that I say like I look fat and that's not what I mean at all. I just mean that because of where my body stores my fat, I look, I just feel like I look like I have a chubby belly when I, I don't, I don't deserve to have a chubby belly because <laughs> I work really hard. <laughs> but it's just, no matter how big or small I get, I always have this. Whereas people can be kind of twice as big as me, but their, their body just, their skin's tighter, they hold, maybe hold it in their legs instead, or... That was a big deal for you to say that. I know, I don't like talking about it. <laughs> but, everybody has their things. And there could be so many girls out there that are in the same position as you that... Look I know, at, you just look shouldn't you. care. You shouldn't look at you, you're a strong, independent, train hard woman. <laughs> I do, I train really hard, but I sweat so, so much. So, oh, Jesus. Stop. I don't know what he's doing up there. Jeff this morning was like, shall I? I think I might knock the wall down between the bathroom and the toilet because they're separate upstairs. I said, Jeff, please don't do that until you've got a plan. Because otherwise it will just remain a building site for six weeks, just like the landing in the stairs. He was like, hmm, might just re grout it. <laughs> but it I can just imagine, you know, like on those comedy sketches where someone's foot appears through the ceiling. Hey, Ryan. Hey, Billy. That hurt. <laughs> like, that's literally what I can imagine Jeff doing. <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> we just want to get one of the smaller dogs. No, we're not having any coffee earlier. Yeah, but that's why we were thinking if yeah. we get it, we can share it with you. Oh, yeah, well, thanks very much. <laughs> So are you up are you up for the idea or not? We're making pancakes but we're figuring out from recipes online. Mm. We haven't got any scales. Could go really well, could go terribly wrong. Let's just put a bit of this in. Egg white.
Not gonna lie, think I may have nailed it. Look at that. I've gone for honey and strawberry, Jazz has gone for coconut yogurt and uh, cocoa and hazelnut butter. We got a box through from, uh, we think it's from GoPro. Floaty, handlebar mount, three way grip, arm and tri handler, shorty. <laughs> My shorty. It's your birthday. <laughs> and GoPro Hero 6 Black. Speaking of footage, today is the day that actually Dave Castro is the first kind of time he talked to. Jazz, your bum's really um, putting me off this shot. Look at this fridge shot. Wow, this has been a while. Today is actually the first day that Dave Castro has mentioned anything really about the CrossFit Games. A couple of, uh, I think it was about a week ago, he put up a few diagrams of what looks to be like a football field more than likely for kind of the sprint event. And it had a ring on it and stuff, so looked like kind of the centerpiece. But today, he made a big announcement, like a huge announcement, saying that first day is gonna be the biggest mental and physical test ever, and it's gonna go down in history. Going into the games, I think we've prepared and created the best test that we've ever done, that we've ever created. And I'm really excited about the athletes showing up and being being dealt a day one that will go down in the game's history books as far as difficulty and challenge. I'm really excited about they're going to get there this year and it's it's going to be game on right away and uh, and they're going to be pushed they're going to be pushed and they're going to be pushed to, their, to the limits of their physical and mental capabilities right out of the gates. So it's gonna be something special. I mean, a 5K trial run up and down hills into a deadlift ladder, it's a pretty, pretty legit test. So I can't wait to actually be in Madison to see, to see this year's first crazy day. What do you guys think it's gonna be? Under 55 days until the CrossFit Games. Mental. This is so cool, GoPro, thank you very much. This is 4K, 12 megapixel. Waterproof. Hey, yeah, you right? Are you a real crossfit? Oh, just like uh, that. Yeah. If you don't have a I crossfit, do crossfit. you right? Yeah, good, you? Yeah, man. All about the sandals. Look good. <laughs> Why do you not want to go to bed? So I just want to train tomorrow, now. But I don't, I don't want to train right now. Like, I want to train tomorrow, if that makes sense. But now. Makes sense? <laughs> Mikey doesn't want to go to bed because he's so excited to train tomorrow. Yeah.